So what do you do when you're kidless, when you're husbandless, and you've got nothing but time on your side? You go to the Southeast Homeschool Expo. Duh! Hello, hello, hello. I am here getting ready to walk in the Southeast Homeschool Expo. This is my first homeschooling expo and I am excited to see what it's all about, find some great resources and hopefully not spend all my money. So let's go, let's dive in together. So we are here at the homeschooling event and it's pretty organized. When you walked in, it gives you where to go to register. I'm already registered, which is great. Shows you where the workshops are. Looks very together, very organized. A lot of people here just kind of moseying about and um, looking for curriculum, of course. And they have booths for just exhibits and things of that nature. So we're going to check it all out and see. What I think, I do want to attend one of the classes because uh, I need to feel like my life is getting some education in it. And I'm kidless, so why not? Um, these are the classes that are starting at 11.45, which is the time I'm here. I'm thinking about either number two, take the mystery out of homeschooling, a workshop for new homeschoolers, or help your child learn and grow by addressing nutrition and food allergies. I have a daughter with allergies and we've worked through them since birth but I'm interested to hear what they have to say as we move forward. So we'll see, I'll let you know. Through what it looks like inside the exhibit, so we're gonna check out some things. Anybody else overwhelmed by just looking at all this? Ooh, curriculum, curriculum, curriculum. I thank God that I already know where I'm going with mine, but uh, this can be quite a feat for someone that is just trying to figure out and find their way and not break the bank. But yeah, I promise I'm gonna focus. Not, I got the day to myself. Who needs focusing when you could just do whatever you please? Hi, this is pretty cool. Hey. <laughs> yeah, they're probably like, what is she filming me for? Let me get a cameo in. Don't worry, I don't know you, so I can't plug you, but thanks. Yeah, I'm being silly today. It's a lot going on in here, so rather than get overwhelmed, it's best to just be silly and enjoy yourself, right? You look like you're enjoying yourself. What are you giving me? Spanish for your whole family. Oh, yeah, we do need to learn that Espanol. Yeah. I won't tell you I took six years and still don't know it fluently, well, so I might need to start again myself. Because you didn't have me for a teacher. <laughs> oh, that would be accurate. Say that again. Because you didn't have me for a <laughs> I love it. I love it. Call me wacky, but I secretly want to just play games all year. I mean, it's learning, right? Come on now. We can get a degree off of these games. I guarantee it. But to be a kid again. So I got to spin this wheel, and I landed on the book. And then I had a collection of books that I could choose from. And ta-da! This is the one we chose. I think Savai will like this. July until the beginning of we also have winter camp, spring break, spring break camp, and also schools out camp as well. Oh, okay. Office. I'm here for my my son to see these amazing animals and yeah, bones. Yes, so we have a margay here. This margay is native to Central and South America. Um, they are arboreal, which means they spend a lot of their time in trees. They're really, really good climbers. They have a tail that helps them balance, and these front paws here help. They can rotate them 180 degrees to help them climb down trees just as easy as they can climb up trees as well. And they oh. eat a variety of different things in those trees. Then we have some skulls here. So this one here is an opossum. Then it gets larger and larger. We have a bobcat. Then a clouded leopard here. These impressive fangs. Mm. And last but not least, a uh, baboon skull. Oh wow, I once brought an opossum home as a pet. I am glad you did that because a lot of people are so scared of them. <laughs> so I'm glad that there are people out there who can appreciate them. Yes. Because if we didn't have them, we would have so much, so many more creepy crawlies crawling around. That's right. Maybe thousands and thousands of ticks. Oh, okay. And I hate ticks. And the fact that they are there to eat those ticks makes me feel safer. Yeah, well, the fact that my mom realized it wasn't a cat, that didn't end well for me. <laughs> but yeah, it was great for the moment. The foolishness of being uh, an adolescent. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> This is a CB, what is it called again? CBD. CBD. You get high without getting high. No, you don't get high. You don't get high. Oh, it's an oil that doesn't allow you to get high. But it has the full properties of health benefits. 
You get the health benefits without the high. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Can you see my face on that last one? Mm -hmm. Stay away from that CBD oil. I can see where this is headed. Oh, God. So you can even climb a wall here at the Homeschool Expo. Whoever thought? And this man has told me that it's a lovely price of $5 to embarrass myself. So I've decided to go ahead and forego that. But you can see it. <laughs> So this is for, is it the Extreme Home Makeover? Oh, oh, Pinnacle, yeah, here we are. Is oh. it like the one on TV? Do your pitch, exactly. do your pitch, exactly. go ahead. So here it is. Okay. My name is Shane, this is Miro. We're the Pinnacle Home Improvement, slash, what we are doing, we are home giving homeowners a free chance to win $15,000, $15,000, Extreme Home Makeover, okay? Okay. That's a win-win. It is a win-win. Okay. There's no gas, no tricks. This ain't no thousand calls under emails. You're gonna get one call verified your real. That's it. See, I need you from my YouTube channel. You can Thanks. help get some subs. Subscribe Thanks. to this gentleman, right? Oh, 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 wait, he's breaking it down. Oh, break it down. Break it down. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let me get off here so I can get my extreme makeover win. Okay, so I went ahead and spend as well. And so, you know, I'm filling filling my name out, you know, for this free home makeover. Extreme makeover, and then I just spend this wheel and got an additional five hundred dollars attached to that. So I said, Lord, bless it, bless it, Jesus. Our, our. So everyone looks so focused and intentional, and here I am, just you know, moseying about, having fun. I mean, why not? It's supposed to be fun, right? Okay, let me focus in because I'm, my workshop's getting ready to start. And so everyone else gets a hamburger, and they get a lamb burger because lamb is expensive. Um, there are a few places that you can buy um, grass-fed animals and bite straight from the butcher. I would strongly recommend you look at that because they'll have a variety of meats and fishes that you can look at. And what most people don't realize is that they've started doing some studies looking at children who are older that were not doing very well in school and they were having some cognitive issues. And they said, hmm, I wonder if they're getting enough folate. So they started boosting their folate really high. And this study that was my favorite one was for 15-year-old kids. I and mean, we're thinking, you know, folate for babies. They need it when they're older. Uh, this affected their academic scores so much that it was higher in the when they did this type of study. It had a stronger relationship than the socioeconomic status. It was stronger than the mother's education. It was a stronger relationship than the father's income. It was even stronger than if they smoked or didn't smoke. That's powerful. That, this means that you can change your folate and you can directly impact the brain and the ability to improve your cognition. So, I just got out of such an informative session. I know I've been just all over the place with this video, but I really did get myself together after getting over the I'm alone, I can't believe I'm alone phase, but I did settle in. But I just went to this awesome session. Let me tell you what it's called. It's called Help Your Child Learn and Grow by Addressing Nutrition and Food Allergies. And my daughter has a number of food allergies, but I actually gained some valuable information for myself, you know, dealing with fatigue and just needing a boost and feeling like I'm eating well, but some reason things are off balance a bit, but I mean, there was so much vital information. So I just appreciate having gone in. I think I was looking the wrong direction in the camera, forgive, but um, going into that session and getting something for mama, for me, we gotta take care of ourselves, guys. But also some great things and great tips for my daughter. Daughter, Getting ready to head out of the Southeast Homeschool Expo. What's that? spectacular event, well put on, well planned, well organized. I had a great time. My highlights would be that it was organized. It was clear to find your way through. Map schedules, the workshop that I attended was such a great resource, not just for my littles, but for me, dealing with cognitive growth and development as it pertains to nutrition and something that I could apply for my own health and wellness. I thought that was excellent. I wish I would have attended more workshops, so if I had any low light, that would be what it would be. I have to get back to my littles, but I was able to go to one great one and I hope to see more in the future. One of the things that was great was the exhibition as well. It had everything that you could think of. The kitchen sink, all of your big time curriculums and small things, resources, manipulatives, some banking, some economics, a big school bus for the kids, all sorts of things you guys saw on the tape. I was having a blast. Why not? Hey, I get a free day. Enjoy it. So I had a great time overall. I hope to attend some in the future and I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you've been watching for a while, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Come on now. Go on and join the village and just like and continue on our journey. We appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching. Be blessed.
crying, wanting to delay the constant pressures from outside to attend a meeting from on high.